Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Zine and Lessons. And in this video, we are going to talk about how uh, how to add a Windows XP host in your EVNG client, right? So um, as you can see, I'm running my EVNG on my uh, VMware Workstation Pro, and um, I have logged into the GUI console of my EVNG, which is running on one one ninety two one sixty one to one ninety nine. Now if I right click on my um, working area and right click on the nodes and if I scroll down uh, to the section where I see windows it, I say this I see this is grayed out right because I don't have the images as of now imported to my EVNG. Now I have uh, uploaded this uh, ready, um, uh, ready to use uh, Windows XP image um to a google drive i will share the link with you but if you go to the evng documentation section and if you go to how to section of the eve here and then if you scroll down to the windows workstation um microsoft windows workstation uh, section and here you can see the uh, the process to uh, on how to adding the windows uh, into your uh, evng right this process involves using windows iso and um, uh, i mean most of the people who are not familiar with the um, linux side of it um, find this very um, tough and intimidating um, i mean in my early phases when i started using evng i found it uh, quite difficult to follow all these steps right you have to use the iso create a cd rom iso and boot up add that first of all inside the evng and then uh, go with the initial setup and once you have completed that then you have to commit um, this make it persistent basically then delete the cd rom iso um, and then use the virtual but if you um, want to use this method this is like this can be used on any windows um, so windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 11 whatever you want if you have the iso file you can use the same method to add any windows host in your evng now uh, if you want to wa watch that video you can just click here and there is already a video ma made uh, for this process but for my process it's quite simple uh, you just go here on this um, um, drive, google drive and just click on download and download this file right click on download because i have already downloaded this uh, you can see this is like 1.2 gbs i'll go here and now this is uh, a zip file so that is why it's 1 to 1.2 gb now you have to right click and extract it using any uh, file extractor tool i am using uh, 7zip right i will say extract to win xp lite and once this is extracted to the win xp folder um, i will continue uh, the video till then i will fast forward the video enjoy the music Okay, fine. Um, now that the uh, file has been extracted, let me go to my downloads folder yeah, and uh, go to Windows XP file. I see inside that there is one for file which is sda.qcow2 and you can see the size is around 2.3 gigs. So after extraction, the file becomes um, almost double. Now what you need to do is you need to open up the WinSCP client. Uh, so this is a prerequisite obviously now by now you know you need WinSCP to add any files um, import any image into evng right so you just log in with the you uh, with the ip and the root credentials which is root and e by default which i have not changed uh, once you are inside this you need to go to the root folder and go to opt then unit labs then add-ons then chemo now inside chemo you have to drag and drop this whole folder with winxp and then the file it should not be a folder into folder make sure and the naming should be like this win hyphen anything right so for in my case i'm using winxp so i have named it win hyphen xp if you're using any other uh, windows you can name it like this so that is the naming convention if you want to go and check the naming convention you can go to the evng website and go to the chemo imaging uh, image naming section and you can see the uh, naming actually how it works so if you go to the windows section um so if you see here so you have to start with win hyphen anything right um and the file should be hda or qcow so in our case it's an hda um and uh, now let's wait for this file to be um imported to the file system of evng i will fast forward forward this process uh, till then you can enjoy the music
okay now the uh, file has been um, imported inside the file system of evng now we can just minimize this or even close it um, now to be sure what you need to do is you need to go to the house to how to section here how to section and click on any of the um, uh, say this one let's use the aruba clever and and you have to copy this command right so control c go to your um, cli um root eve and then i will go and edit and paste this permissions command in here right once this is um, executed i will go back to my evng topology here refresh this once more now right click node and if i scroll down to the windows section i should see the windows getting highlighted this time and if i go into windows now image if you see um you can see all the images like xp um 7 8 10 whatever you have added as of now i have only windows xp so i can see only xp now here I can assign say two virtual CPUs and four GB of RAM, which I feel is enough. And then you can also use the console if you want to do a VN VNC, which um, opens up in the VNC player, or if you want to RDP to have a more um, uh, feel of a real desktop. And also the resolution will be um, bigger, uh, so you can do the RDP or use the VNC. I use VNC, and let's save this right i will connect this to the network and i will show you how it, it can access internet using my management cloud save and then connect it to this now before turning it on just just i mean that that is my habit whenever i um add a new uh, uh, image inside the eve i just wipe it out so that uh, i mean it's it's clean right and then let's start and wait for this to turn blue right once this is blue you have to wait or even you can if you're using win scp will double click and the win scp is should open and it will it is showing you the boot processes going on in the windows xp image now let's just uh now for the if you're using v vncp uh, this is a limitation you cannot have uh, i mean expand the window here right so let's wait for the windows to boot up um i can see the windows xp um the go and the welcome screen looks nice it's 2022 and i'm still using windows xp <laughs> so this can be um used for any lab purpose right um if you need a host um, um light host uh, i will also make videos regarding how to add windows 7 8 and 10 and also linux host so let's wait for this So by default there is no password set so it should um directly log in and um, the desktop should should appear give it some time the first uh, startup uh, usually takes time um because you have to also install the drivers and all once that is done um from the second time it should be much more faster as compared to the first time right um, so let's wait for this okay really nice so i can see the desktop i should see a prompt or notifications of yeah installing new driver so it will um, i mean quickly finish this installing the drivers and then the mouse will also start working normally because right now i see the mouse is not working properly mm. and let's wait for the drivers to be installed and yes let's do a yes and just try and install this let's go here and yes so that this is my windows xp it has um i mean pre-built uh, some applications already installed now if i go here uh, the i think uh, the lan has connected yeah if i go and check the status i see uh, it is connected but if i see and go and check more information here uh i don't see the ip address okay let me close this and maybe the um, uh, the ethernet uh, adapter is not configured properly right so i can go here and check if my let's see i'll just cancel this say no at this time so this is about the vga controller 
all these drivers once um, I mean um, installed successfully then the windows would work, work properly I would say no and let's say run and I'll try the nc pa dot cpl command to check my local this one yeah so I want to check the status here and I want to check the properties I want to go to the TCP IP here and use the following or obtain and then I will check this and I would say close and I will disable once then enable so that it takes the IP address from the DHCP if I check the status and if I check the support and default like this I don't see an IP address till now status support and still don't see an IP address let's close this and if I go here and run the CMD and check an IP config here don't see an IP address so this should take an IP address from the DHCP maybe I need a reboot let's try reboot first yeah it says restart for the drivers to work properly let's do a restart because I've uh, I've connected this to my local LAN uh, using the bridge and then the local LAN has a DHCP running um, so that should um, I mean lease an IP address to this interface in the uh, EVNG inside EVNG so let me reboot this and We'll test it out. Yeah, it was quite faster than the first time. Yeah, so I'll just refresh a couple of times. I can run the CMD. Let's run this one first and then run the command prompt. IP config I can do here still I don't see an IP address so let's go and um, I mean assign some manual IP address that that will also work uh, so run and I will do ncpa dot ncpa dot cpl okay it should open the adapters um, window here taking a bit more time um, I guess I should have increased the RAM to say somewhere around 8 GBs. I mean 4 GB is more than in, enough for a Windows XP to run here. Yeah. Maybe I have a couple of other things running in the background so that is why this is very pretty slow. Okay so this is the local area which I am uh concerned about let's go to ipv4 here mm -mm, this one and i would say use so my uh, local lan is from 192.168.1. say this is 222 and and, and default gateway is basically 192.168.1.1 and use the dns as 8.8.8.8 and 4.2.2.2.2 so yeah, I've manually set the IP addresses on my Windows XP machine and now this should be able to uh, communicate to the internet once the IP addressing has been set. Yeah, I can see now it is connected 1 Gbps of speed. Now if I go here, I can open any um, uh, browser like this comes with the uh, inbuilt browsers like Mozilla and uh, I think Mozilla Firefox right here so yeah I can just test a website here say Google control enter and yeah this is working fine for me now so that is how you um, basically um, you uh, import the uh, win uh, XP machine in your EVNG and then you can connect it to the internet okay so that is how you um, import and um, install the win XP client ins inside your EVNG so that is all for this video guys um stay connected and uh, don't forget to press like and subscribe on my channel and do share this channel as much as possible see you in the next video thank you bye bye